problem 3.132. In this problem, we have a fin of uniform cross-sectional area made out of aluminum alloy. This fin is exposed to convective conditions. The diameter and the convection coefficients are given. It is reported that the efficiency of this fin is equal to 65%. We need to determine the length of the fin as well as if effectiveness. We are going to assume that the tip has convection, therefore it's an active tip. We are going to take this problem to be a steady, one-dimensional, no heat generation, no radiation. Once again, we account for convection at the tip, therefore we consider this fin to have an active tip. We're going to start the analysis with the definition of efficiency for a pin fin, which is given as hyperbolic tangent of m l c divided by m l c. Remember that the value of l c is a corrected length, which is basically l plus d over four. This correction is used to account for the convection at the tip. For the particular example that we have, we know that the value of m is going to be equal to the square root of h, the perimeter divided by k, and the cross-sectional area. For the information of this problem, we find that the value of m is going to be equal to 37.1 meters to the negative 1. In order for us to be able to find the value of L, we can solve this value, this equation, for the value of LC. Notice that the value of LC is outside and inside of the hyperbolic tangent. Therefore, the, there are two methods to solve it. One is by doing a trial error iterations, or two, by solving the equation numerically. I'm going to show you how to do those two processes in MATLAB. The first method that we're going to explore in MATLAB is a numerical solution. Notice that in this case, I'm using symbolic math. So we define the value of m, the value of n. We define the function as we have it. Notice that we have to make this function equal to 0. And then we simply say solve the function. You could also do the same process using f0 while setting up the function as an anonymous function. If we run this section, notice that the value is going to give us very close to 36 centimeters. If we do the trial and error, it's a little bit more involved. We simply have a, the same definitions of m and n. We have to start by a value. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a while loop until the error is very, very small. So notice that our goal is to reach an error that is 1 to the power of negative 8. And then once again, we simply define the function exactly as we had it before. The only difference is now we have to have a new value and an old value. So the way that it starts is the following. It sets, it sets up an old value. Using that value, it calculates a new value for LC. It compares the old value and the new value using an error. If it doesn't if it doesn't determine that the error is more is smaller than the goal, then it simply does the iteration all over again. We do a substitution, making the old the new value, so that in the next step, whatever we calculated in this step becomes the old value in the next step. We run this for a couple of iterations, and notice if we run it we get to pretty much the same result that we got in symbolic um, notation, and we are able to get an error below what we determined. Please make sure that you go back to your notes in MATLAB to understand how this while loop was, was created. The next step in the analysis is to calculate the effectiveness of the fan. The effectiveness equation is given as the heat rate of the fin divided by h, the cross-sectional area at the base, and theta b. Notice that we have that the heat rate of the fin 
is equal to m hyperbolic tangent of lowercase m del c. We also know that the value of m is equal to the square root of h p k the cross-sectional area times theta b. Therefore, when we substitute all the equation and we do a little bit of cancellation, we find that the effectiveness is equal to 2 square root of k divided by square root of h d hyperbolic tangent of m l c. Notice that all these values we know, including the value of l c that we obtained in the previous step, and we could find out that the effectiveness for this fin is equal to 23.5. Notice that the value of the efficiency and the effectiveness are both independent of the value of the temperature of the base and the temperature of the fluid. Please go back and double check the different steps done in this problem. Understand how to do the trial and error using a while loop in MATLAB. Also, how to set up an anonymous function and solve the function using F0. Also, using, using symbolic math. Make sure that you're able to get a simplified equation for the effectiveness of the fin as the one given in this uh, solution. And double check all your values.